All right, Battle Boxers, I've got Mission 99 right here. Just came in the mail, and by the way, my neighbor just started mowing right as I sat down to do this unboxing, but I decided to push through and go ahead and unbox this thing anyway, because I know you guys want to see what's inside of it. So last Battle Box here in the double digits. Let's pop open the seal and see what came this month. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future and I'm back with another Battle Box unboxing. Always fun to get into these things. As a reminder, these come in four different flavors going all the way from a basic box up to the Pro Plus. Uh, we always do the Pro Plus in this channel, but you can join at just about any level and get some cool stuff every month. Uh, if you want to get a good deal on this, be sure to check out the link on the screen or down in the description. Uh, like I mentioned, this is Mission 99, the last double digit box here. Battle Box has been around for a while, kind of the OG in this space. Uh, but there's supposedly something in the works for Mission 100 next month, so be sure to tune in and see that. Uh, but Mission 99, let's see what we got. By the way, this is kind of an older style box, I feel like. Um, so here we go. Here is our mission guide, or mission brief rather. Lots of cool stuff I'm seeing already. I started looking through it <laughs> out of the corner of my eye. All right, cool. So like I mentioned, basic box on the left, then we move up to advanced, then we've got pro down here, and of course, uh, pro plus to round things out. So let's get started as always. We'll go through the basic box first. Uh, looks like we got an interesting gadget right off the bat. I'm thinking this is it. So a battle box camping tripod. Uh, if you've seen some unboxings from me in the past, you know I'm not a giant fan of when people brand their stuff um, with the box logo on it, but this may be cool anyway. Let's, let's see. So looking, what is this thing? So it says it's freaking cool. Make a makeshift tripod over heat with it so you can hang some stuff from it. Okay, I think I'm following along. So it looks like we just got um, a piece of metal here. So I think, let's see, we got chains too. I think I know what this is. I think this is where you'll take larger sticks, kind of put it together in that little um, teepee shape, and this will hold them together. Um, and the chain goes through in some fashion, I guess, to secure it where the sticks won't fall out. Uh, but then what you can do is take this and, gosh, this is a sloppy explanation, isn't it? <laughs> you can take this thing, hang your chain from it, um, and if you have like a pot you want, or a kettle you want to put over the fire, or just whatever else, uh, it's a really cool way to do that. So. Actually, even though I complained originally about being a branded thing, this is actually a fairly interesting little gadget. Um, I like it that it is small and lightweight um, and something easy just to you know, stow away in your truck until you need it. Uh, but actually be a lot of fun, especially if you're into bushcrafty type stuff. So that's pretty cool. By the way, these little edges feel <laughs> kind of sharp. They're just grabbing my fingers a little bit. Uh, but interesting, that's actually the kind of thing I like to see in Battle Box. Something unusual and outdoorsy and fun and kind of giving you a new superpower when you're outside. So that's cool. Uh, so that is the Battle Box camping tripod. Uh, interesting start here. Uh, next up, from Roaring Fire, we have the Ember Pouch. Let's see. All right, it must be this thing. So I'm guessing this is a little easy pouch. Can never have too many of those. All right, yeah. So we've got some bungee cord right there, a little bit of molly-ish kind of lashing and connection points. I guess what color is this? Maybe like a coyote tan with OD green straps on it. Now I'm not familiar with the brand at all, but that doesn't mean much. Nice big fat zippers. All right, yeah, look at this. So we've got lots and lots of room uh, to lash things down. Double elastic, which is always nice. You can stow stuff right here, then also put stuff here on top of it. And rows along the bottom, very similar to the Maxpedition and VanQuest style pouches you might have. I have, if you've watched my huge EDC video where I go through all my different like carry kits I keep around me, I have a pouch that's just about this size. Um, and these things are great. Uh, little lashing points or little connector points to hold some keys and other stuff, big pockets there. An actual YKK zipper, which is, I know this is kind of strange to say, but that's typically a good way to gauge the quality on a product. If it uses like a name brand zipper like that, a lot of times the fit and finish is a little bit better. And actually I just saw this Cordura fabric too. So this is a nice pouch to have in here. 1000D nylon fabric. Yeah, and they mentioned the zippers in the thing too. Mentioned some molly, high, high contrast yellow in the middle. 
in my eyes, that's orange. I don't know. Maybe I'm colorblind, <laughs> but uh, this is great. A great thing to get. You will use this. Throw it in a drawer if you don't think you'll, you're going to use it right now. I guarantee you, if you go down a YouTube rabbit hole and decide to build your own kits, something like this is great. And it even has a little hook and loop there for a morale patch too. So very cool. That's a good quality item too. So not bad at all in the basic box this month. Next up, we've got some bleed stop, which looks like may just be a little packet. So I have this in some first aid kits from some other brands, but this stuff is fantastic. So if you have somebody, they've got a, not just a cut, but like a deep gash, something terrible going on. Um, if you have a little bit of training, again, it's good to watch videos and stuff on this stuff. You can pour some of this into the wound and it'll stop that bleeding and maybe save a life too. So they say this stuff is from My Medic or Bleed Stop by way of My Medic. I don't know if this is like My Medic's house brand or something. Uh, the cool thing with this is it expires in 2028. That's five years from now. Uh, if you go to like an Academy Sports or Dick's Sporting Goods, sometimes they'll sell stuff like this. And again, you definitely want to have this in your kit. But if you pick this stuff up, make sure you check the expiration date because it does expire. And also, this is just a side note. I think this is the same type of stuff. I think if you have like a shellfish allergy, um, this isn't good to use. I could be totally wrong with that, but I've heard that. So go <laughs> validate what I said. Uh, before we use it, but very cool stuff. Made in the USA. You can see that little Made in the USA badge they put on stuff. Um, awesome. Again, super useful. May not seem like a big deal item, but this could be like a life or death thing one day. So throw it in your first aid kit. You will be glad you have it um, if you get a giant cut from <laughs> playing with one of these knives or something. So awesome. All right. And next up, which by the way, this may be the best basic box I've seen in a while because every one of these items I think are pretty cool so far. This last one I'm legit excited about because I use these things all the time. So these are gear ties from Night Eyes. And it looks like these are kind of a special variant of it that have a loop that goes through the end. So these big ones, I have these in my garage, I have some in my truck. And once you have these things around, you find all sorts of uses for them. So it's basically just a nice rubber coated wire um, that's totally reusable. You can seal stuff off. You can keep hoses together. Um, you can use these to get cables, like extension cords, keep that nice and organized. But it's almost like a makeshift, like workshop clamp. So obviously not the same type of strength where you're trying to hold stuff together, but if you just need to lash something together real quick or hold something tight, um, we made it like a makeshift cage for our cat a little while ago. And I used a bunch of these just to cinch some random things together and it worked awesome. Uh, but these are actually, I haven't seen this variant where it's got a loop on the end. So instead of having to, you know, wrap stuff around and make a thing like that, you can actually just flow it through there and tighten something down that way, which is very cool. But this is super useful. It looks like from the picture here that's actually going to come in a bunch of different colors too. So this is just a two pack. But again, once you use these things uh, and kind of get a, a feel for them, you'll probably next time you're at the hardware store, which they sell these at like Home Depot and Lowe's and everywhere else, you'll probably end up grabbing a few more. Yeah, you can see the use case here. That's actually kind of cool. You can use the loop to hang it off of like your garage hooks. Um, they got some camping stuff lashed up together with it. Just super great, really cool, reusable, great gear. So that is it. Like I said, probably the best basic box I've seen in a while. So if you're just jumping in at that level this month, you're gonna be happy. Uh, next up, advanced box costs a little bit more, normally comes with a higher value item in it. And this month we have the Tactica K100 pocket knife. Uh, Tactica. If you get any of these types of boxes, you'll probably get some of their tools in them. Uh, before we've received like the credit card tool, I received like a little wrench style tool from them recently. Um, they've also branched out to make knives. Um, so let's take a look at this thing. Let's see the specs real quick. G10 scales, D2 skill, reverse tanto blade. It says ball bearing pivots. Okay. So let's see. I do like their packaging. It all kind of follows the same kind of pattern where you open the little door in the front. They got some product shots and everything. Uh, but yeah, nicely sized EDC knife. No clip. Huh. So it does have a lanyard hole there at the bottom. Thumb studs. So the smooth ball bearing pivot. All right. Nice little liner lock there. You heard that pop into place pretty good. It does seem fairly smooth. Let's see if we can actually flick it out with studs. Yeah. All right. So we got jimping here on the back, cool little accent there on the thumb studs with the orange. Uh, those G10 scales feel great. A little bit of a back spacer there. A little fairly sharp out of the box. I do like this blade profile. I've seen this on several recently um, with that kind of reverse tonto. I think that is a cool look. And I like being able to like poke into packages or poke into stuff and get a little hole going if you need to. Um, but very comfortable, very nice. 
I'm kind of curious why, um, why no pocket clip? I guess you're gonna just let that ride deep in a pocket. Uh, but bam, D2 still, no badging on it besides just the brand name up there. Uh, but yeah, that's everything you wanna see. Uh, pretty great knife uh, in this class, definitely. Actually, I'll argue this is probably better than some of the Pro Plus knives I've received from BattleBox in the past. Um, sometimes they're killer and sometimes they're just very strange or like just odd picks. This is great, not bad at all. So again, if you got basic box and you got advanced, you're happy this month. This is a good package. Okay, lifetime warranty too. Cool, all right, surprisingly cool little knife there. So we'll pop this over here. We'll leave that out so you can look at through the rest of the video. And next up, again, another cool item. We have the Bushnell Cellucor cellular trail camera. Um, so I'm a little bit familiar with these. We had somebody vandalize our house while we were building it a few years ago and I actually ended up using a trail camera after the fact, um, kind of hidden in a tree on the driveway. So I could tell everybody pulling into the driveway, pulling out any time of the night, I could easily get license plate numbers. So th these things are awesome. Obviously they're intended, since it's a trail cam, to use for hunting, you know, to track game or just to see like what's going on on your property or some land before you go out there. Uh, but tons of different little uses you can do for these things. Uh, so there's been like a trend in recent years to make these little cell connected ones. So normally when I had that one in my house, I would go up, I would take out the little SD card and pop it in a little thing on my laptop. And that's how I check pictures every day. Uh, but these cellular ones are cool. They work the same way. You can do the old fashioned way where you go take the card out. You don't have to use the cell features at all or pay for any of that. But if you want to, um, they have pretty affordable plans that you can activate and deactivate whenever you want, um, be able to check stuff from an app. So two year warranty on this thing, sorts photos in a bunch of different ways, has a night range. Yeah, the, the night vision on these things is actually pretty good too. Um, and then battery life, wait, how many? <laughs> 12 double A's. So I wonder if that's included in here because the package is actually a little heavy. Let's pop the seal. All right, so it slides out like this. You got the little cell antenna if you're using that part. You've got some straps you can use. Then the unit itself is this kind of weatherized, um, very kind of camouflage in the sense that it blends in with outdoor colors uh, kind of cabin here. Nice clasps. This thing is, this is a solidly built one too. The clasps come out that way. There you have a space for your batteries and all the different settings for setting things up down there. Uh, so pretty neat. Again, a cool item. These are not cheap. So again, high value this month from BattleBox too. Not only that knife, which is some nice materials, that's probably at least like a $70 knife or so. Um, but these cameras, at least a hundred bucks, especially with the cellular stuff. I could, I've seen them as high as 150. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. So that is the Cellucor trail camera. Very cool. So we'll go ahead and move on. That was the Pro Box. We'll move on to the last item here, which is a fixed blade. The Survival Edge Garab. Garab? Garab? Jarab? I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna say Garab. I, I like that. Oh, look at this. Did that come out of that box? There's an SD card just sitting in here. And this is also included as a 32 gig SD card. Cool battle box. All right. So let's open this knife from Weihangi Tactical. Right, here we go. Pop the seals in the bottom. This thing is large. Let's see, we got some paperwork here. It's a little warning, don't cut yourself with it. Try my best. All right, so we've got a sheath, kind of this cool handle with some embedded beads. Little clip on this thing. Sheath seems kind of no frills. That clip, yeah, it feels okay. It looks cheap, but it feels okay. And whoa. All right, so check out this blade. Wow. So we've got a little logo up here. I don't see any markings to tell us the blade steel or anything. A place for a lanyard, which I don't know if you do with this sort of knife. Let's see. So it's from Survival Edge. I wonder if it's meant to be a survival thing. Okay, I'm seeing talk about Filipino knife fighting. Five inch D2 steel blade, 10 inch overall length, pack of wood, stainless steel bolster, yeah, they mentioned it's kept in place by these mosaic pins. So I think just based off the text here, this is meant to be more of like a combat or maybe even like a martial arts fighting knife. Um, it's got finger grooves. Okay, yeah, so you can get a pretty good grip down here to do whatever you need to do with this. So this is the type of thing that 
man, if you plan on using this in an emergency situation to defend yourself, get some training because <laughs> this thing looks nuts. Look how thick um, the spine is in this thing. It is thick and boy, it is sharp, by the way, very sharp. I probably got to get uh, some Doc P style paper or something to start do some paper tests with these knives. But this thing is sick. No jumping, which is interesting, but I don't think you see jumping a lot on combat or fighting style knives. I could be wrong. Um, but cool, very well balanced. You can see it kind of just float there in my finger. Um, high quality. Let's see, I'm gonna put it in and out of the sheath again a few times. Great retention on that. And really, this thing, as robust as it is, is actually pretty light as well. Wow. So a different type of knife than we've seen from BattleBox before, but very interesting. Again, kind of goes back to the battle part of BattleBox. This is the type of thing I would want to see, the type of thing that you want to have in your collection. Um, that's awesome. Okay, guys, this may have been the best BattleBox we've had in a long time. Mission 99 was awesome. So we got this incredible knife from Bryangi, the Survival Edge, Garab, Jarab, whatever I said I was going to call it. We got this killer trail camera from Bushnell. We've got a great EDC knife from Tactica, surprisingly nice. Wish I had a pocket clip, but everything else about it is actually pretty great. Um, then we've got those great ties. We've got some bleed stop, which is handy, especially with that knife of the month this month. Um, then we've got a really good EDC pouch that you'll definitely want to use. And that camping tripod, which is super fun too. So all in all, in my mind, this is the type of thing, like this is a, just a good example of a good battle box. Good mix of gears, some really cool blades, stuff you'll use, stuff you'll try for the first time. Super fun. So if you want to get this box for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down the description. Again, just lots of cool gear to have some adventures with and get outside and have some fun. So uh, that is it for this month's unboxing. Be sure to check back next month for Mission 100 because I'm sure it's going to be a really cool, really interesting box. But as always, if you dug this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. We'll see you next time.